Hello everyone, Mark here with Mark's Max Muscle, and we are looking at your top three at the 2021 Puerto Rico Pro. Of course, I showed the uh, the first call out, and there was six gentlemen, but it appears they have narrowed it down, and this is your top three, and we can take a, a closer look. Couldn't tell anything from those other pictures, but I was thankful that I had those. Thank you, Fernando Arroyo. Flex Magazine, things of that nature. I got these pictures from NPC News Online, so check that site out. All the latest, I mean, hot off the presses, guys, and they are they have these pictures out already. Now, they put Hassan Mustafa in the center, and I don't understand, I don't, really don't see the reasoning behind that. Maybe, uh, I don't know, the best balance as far as uh, the wheels, the, the biceps... Midsection, I'm not exactly sure. I wouldn't say he's in the best condition. I think uh, Mohamed Shaban may be the best condition. And for the balance, things of that nature, Akeem Williams, his small waistline, huge arms. I like him in this pose for sure. Those arms are going to be hard to beat. Go to the front lat spread. Now this one here again, guys. Not sure the reasoning behind putting Hassan Mustafa in the center. Like I said, the conditioning of this Shaban, fantastic. I would say he is battling for second place. And judging by Akeem's size, muscle, shape, proportion, I've seen Akeem in better condition. But this is a pretty darn good Akeem. And, you know, he's Akeem Williams, guys. Look at the lats. Look at his lats. Turn to the side. And if it was any wonder if Akeem was going to run away with this one, I believe this pose is... You could use that phrase, run away, because he is running away with this one, the side chest development. Look at the delt, the peck, and Hassan Mustafa may be falling in last place. Maybe there's an argument for him winning the front double, but I don't know, guys. Looks uh, not quite as conditioned as uh, Shaban. Shaban is. Now, I'm placing the next pose as the rear double. This is how they do it. I don't know why, but I, I did this to show you. This is when they moved Akeem to the middle. They moved him to the middle for the back shots. And I've seen some comments, people messaging me, commenting on my videos. Hassan's, uh, he's battling for second. Akeem's not running away with this one. I got a bag to differ, guys. Judges really look at the glutes. And as far as that's concerned, the colonel just has a problem getting the striations in the glutes. I'm sure he will find a formula. He didn't this time. He didn't this time. Hey, his back might be the best. Might be the best in the lineup. Go to the rear double by. Or the rear lat spread, rather. It's usually <laughs> the next one for me. Shaban and Akeem Williams. They're, they're, they're the best condition out of these three. For sure. Uh, when you look at the glutes, hamstrings, things of that nature. And I would even see say Akeem Williams... Might even be the best. As far as the back, again, as far as the back itself, hey, Colonel Hassan Mustafa, but he needs to get in better condition. Hamstrings, glutes, and if he did, he would be the winner. He would be the winner, and that's why so many people like him. But it's a, you know, it's a it's a very big detail, guys, getting the, the better condition, striations, glutes, things of that nature. Turn around. And in a pose like this, the colonel looks great. And I could say, you know, maybe he is battling for second place. I don't say, I don't I don't see that he uh, would be battling for the win. Uh, I just, uh, I think Akeem Williams is running away with the win. I think Akeem brought, a, brought, a, or brought rather, <laughs> I apologize, he brought a decent showing of himself. Of course, he has looked better in the past. And I'm sure he will look better at the Olympia. But this was a, a quick win for him, I think. Came in. But young Hungry Lions there. I mean, Shea Ben looks good. Colonel's abs look fantastic. I'll tell you that for free. Akeem might even be losing this shot compared to the other two dudes. Finish this dandy of a current. Talk about current. It's going on right now, guys. I mean, hot off the presses, NPC News Online. Hey, I gotta thank Fernando Arroyo once again. Gotta thank the people that help you out. And this one, Shea Ben, and this, and then, then the, the abs and thigh. 
catch up, he could catch up to Akeem. But Akeem is no slouch at all in this. Man, I like Akeem. Throws in the feathering and the quads. Ugh. What a beast. What a beast. I love that Friar Tuck haircut, too. He's the Friar. The Friar versus the Colonel. Colonel kind of fades away in this comparison. Is it just me, or is he a uh, little, little too smooth monsoon? I think the muscle separation needs to be a little bit better. His legs are massive, guys. But do they have matches upper body? I don't know. I don't know. So, Akeem Williams for the win, guys. In my opinion, that is. Shaban takes a strong second. And Hassan, the Colonel Mustafa, will be falling in third place. And if you're waiting for me to be wrong and waiting to gloat that I was wrong, uh, I guess you're going to have to wait. We all will. But I bet you I'll be right. I bet you I'll be right. Hakeem, winner. Anyway, guys, that is a closer look at your top three at the 2021 Puerto Rico Pro. I'll keep you updated, guys, and uh, to who really won and who really placed in second. Could be different. Have a great day.